Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Islam for You, the best place to gain Quranic and Islamic knowledge. So we were talking about the signs of Allah in Surah Rum. We said how we human beings are made from dust, how Allah has created mates for us so that we find tranquility in them, how the creation of the heavens and the earth is one of the signs of Allah, and finally how the difference in our languages and skin colors is also one of the signs of Allah. In this video, let's continue discussing the signs of Allah in Surah Ru. Why this Surah? Because this Surah mentions several signs of Allah right after another. In verse 23 of Surah Rum, Allah says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ مَنَامُكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَابْتِغَاءُكُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَسْمَعُونَ and of his signs is your sleep by night and day, and your pursuit of his bounty. There are indeed signs in that for a people who listen. Sleep is one of the signs of Allah. When we are tired and need to recover for the next day, we sleep. When we wake up refreshed, we go after earning a livelihood, as the Quran puts it. These are two of the signs of Allah. Imagine if we weren't able to sleep. When we would get tired, how would we be able to relieve our tiredness? Nothing is as invigorating as a good night's sleep. The next verse reads, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يُرِيكُمُ الْبَرْقَ خَوْفًا وَطَمَعًا وَيُنَزِّلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَيُحْيِي بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَعْقِلُونَ and of his signs is that he shows you the lightning arousing fear and hope. And he sends down water from the sky and with it revives the earth after its death. There are indeed signs in that for people who exercise their reason. Lightning is one of the signs of Allah. When we see clouds collide, they produce thunder and lightning is seen that instills fear and hope in the hearts. Lightning and thunder could be frightening, but their outcome is a source of blessings as rain falls from the sky and causes plants to grow. The dead earth is revived through rain, one of the most outstanding signs of Allah. Allah says in this verse that these signs are for people who actually exercise their reason. Many people may see these phenomena without thinking they are signs of Allah. They may say, it's just nature, no God has made it. These people are ignorant and will never see anything as a sign of God. So these were some of the signs of Allah that were mentioned in Surah Rum. What other signs of Allah can you think of? Let's look at one example. Our ability to utilize certain skills is one of the signs of Allah. For example, our ability to read and write is one of the things that Allah has placed within us. Allah says in Surah Alaq, اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم Read in the name of your Lord who created created man from a clinging mass 
read, and your Lord is the most generous who taught by the pen, taught man what he did not know. Reading and writing is one of the most unique skills that only human beings are capable of applying. Writing is an amazing ability. Allah says that He taught things to us humans through the pen. Imagine what would happen if we didn't know how to read and write. So many things would have been forgotten. History wouldn't be recorded and people wouldn't learn new things by studying different writings. This world is filled with the signs of Allah. Your ability to see things is one of the wonders of creation. We have two eyes through which we can see the many beauties of the world around us. Without them, we wouldn't be able to take the right action. We would be deprived of all the wonderful sceneries of creation. In Surah Balad, we read, أَلَمْ نَجْعَلْ لَهُ عَيْنَيْنِ وَلِسَانًا وَشَفَتَيْنِ Have we not made for him two eyes, a tongue, and two lips? Allah gave us two eyes, a tongue, and two lips. We are capable of seeing with our two eyes and speaking with our tongues and lips. Who taught us to speak? Did we just evolve into speaking individuals through the ages? Or did Allah teach the first man on earth to speak and name things? The Quran says in this regard, Ar-Rahman Allama al-Qur'an Khalaq al-Insan Allamahu al-Bayan the All-Beneficent has taught the Qur'an. He created man and taught him articulate speech. Allah taught us to speak through the first human being, our father Adam. Allah taught Adam how to name everything, as the Qur'an says. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثُمَّ عَرَضَهُمْ عَلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِي فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِي بِأَسْمَاءِ هَؤُلَاءِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ and he taught Adam the names, all of them, then presented them to the angels and said, Tell me the names of these, if you are truthful. The prophets were the teachers of men, starting with Adam, all the way to our noble prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny. They were the ones who made us aware of the signs of Allah and informed us of his existence. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on our videos. Also, please leave a comment. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wassalam.